Thank you again, and I have um, yeah, yeah, really enjoyed this forum. And obviously, when I when I'm talking to the people in my electorate, uh, it probably goes jobs, housing, transport, and they are all intertwined. And that is what I would like to see that our government, in its planning, intertwines jobs. Um, housing and transport. We don't seem to have that cross-government strategy of what our, what our cities and our state are going to look like in 10 years' time. We set our performance measures for two years. We set our performance measures for election cycles. We don't set our performance measures for what is needed. We have talked today about the fact that we needed to be doing what we're doing now 20 years ago. So we should be planning for 20 years. My, my, my constituents in, in the north, um, you know, they're, they're building at this extraordinary rate. We are seeing extraordinary health consequences of the fact that they are spending four hours on the road because they don't have a choice. And we need to be planning for that. Our, age, our aging strategy, you know, when we wrote the national anthem, one in 25 people in Australia was over 60. It will be one in four in, 10, in 20 years' time. Now, that means we need greater accessibility to our public, our public transport, but we need to be able to have a strategy that is an ageing strategy that deals with how we're going to deal with housing, what our work is going to look like in the future, and what our transport is going to look like in the future. And it's something that reason will continue to be reasonable about, and I think we've proven ourselves to be reasonable in Parliament. We work with people, we are pragmatic, we don't let the good get the perfect get in the way of the good.